So this is blueletterbible.com. It's one of my favorite places um, online to work with study tools. I'm just kind of using the book of John right now and plugging that in. And it pulls us right up here, switching from KJV to ESV. Easy little pop-down menu. And you can see over here in the this window that that's all ESV now. And all the verses there and here's the tools interlinear is what we're going to look at first and you can see how it breaks it down into the Greek you can click on one of these Greek words for God and then it pulls up Theos and there you can see um, the breakdown of that word many times it's used the definition of it if you scroll all the way down you'll see some of Thayer's Greek lexicon you really want to get deep into it how many times it was used in the in the Bible, in the King James Version. Um, yeah, you can get really deep into these older study texts, as you can see here. And if you go down all the way to the bottom, the concordance, you're going to see a listing of all of the places that that word was used. And um, so just scroll all the way down here all the places theos was used it just goes on and on and on and on so, so it's it's a concordance and we'll go back up and go back over and maybe click on my bibles and you can see the different translations here king james New King James, New Living Translation, ESV, and clicking on the ESV. Uh, going back up to the tools, clicking on cross references. Uh, one too many for that, for verse two. Um, commentaries for the different verses and passes, passages that you're going to be in there. Uh, and this this whole website was updated just recently, so this is a whole new skin on this thing. Dictionaries. Um, condensed Biblical, Easton's International Standard Bible Encyclopedia is one of my favorites and it goes on and on and on. There's plenty here to, to look at and use and some miscellaneous kinds of things, maps and whatever. Um, ESV doesn't have Strong's so we click back over to King James and or New American Standard and that Strong's button now opens up and we can we can click on it and once you do that, you can see it in the text. All the Strong's numbers, just like a Strong's concordance. And then um, back to interlinear. You can click off of that. You can click on uh, those le those numbers in here for God, and it'll it'll bring up just like what we we pulled up before for Theos. We can type in. Um, not just a uh, a verse, but um, a word like God, and it will show you all the different places there are study tools available for that. And then, just like a concordance, this will pull up all the different verses throughout the Bible where God, in the King James at least, is listed. The word God. Now, that's the English word, uh, not necessarily the Greek word. So you'll just go. You'll see all these different places where you can click. And do word studies and we can put in uh, Genesis chapter 1 here and we can see what the word God looks like in Hebrew for this particular passage you can see the Hebrew up there and Elohim is this particular word it gives you the strongs and you click on that and um, shows you how it's written, how it's pronounced, um, the different def the definitions uh, associated with Elohim, how many times it appears in the King James text. Um, I can't say that man's name, but uh, he the Hebrew Chaldee lexicon. And you can go down through that. That really gives you some deeper study tools. And then again, the concordance for all the different places where Elohim shows up 
that Hebrew word throughout the scriptures. And because it's Hebrew, it would just be the Old Testament.